Hello my beautiful Scorpio friends. Welcome to the channel if you're new and welcome back to all my old visitors. And we're going to look at a love reading for Scorpio and see what's going on in the overall energy. The messages from Spirit for our Scorpios in love. Sacred reverence. Ooh, look at that double heart. You have a relationship that's very serious coming in. Some of you may already be in this relationship, but sacred reverence is somebody who really shares your spiritual core from the heart space. It is what it is, so you're very accepting of whatever, whoever somebody really is that shows up because you have a very, very strong feeling about the divinity within the person that you love. Wish upon a star, Scorpio. It is your time to manifest love. All right. There is a holiday special pinned in the description or in the comment section. It is 25% off of a 10-minute telephone reading. I can go very quickly, so you have to be ready. If you do that, you have to have a lot of questions ready. So let's see what we have. Scorpio in love. Let's see what we have for the energy at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. Five of Wands. Okay, so there is a feeling that you have multiple people or a situation in which you have to struggle. It is actually Leo energy. It speaks very much possibly, I think most likely, to a new relationship in which you have not declared um, exclusivity with one another. In the recent past, the mutual energy was, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God, Scorpio, the Ten of Cups, Pisces energy. That is just happily ever after love. That is a very traditional uh, marriage card based on pure love, pure emotion. Well, sacred reverence, it makes sense. This is very powerful. The current mutual energy, the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so it does look like both of you are absolutely smitten with each other, but you're not saying much. Look at how cute she is. She's like, I'm just here. I'm just going to be cute, and I'm going to be me. And, you know, both of you are, are, you could even, this doesn't have to be competition outright. This could also be this sort of very sexy banter going back and forth, teasing one another, but it also can be feeling an inner conflict, like could this be the one? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what we have for how your person views the situation with you. The Four of Swords, okay. So something has happened here. It looks like there's some healing that has to go on. Your person is healing whether you are or not, but we're going to look at, we're going to clarify everything. But the Four of Swords is like, you know, also your person may not be feeling well. This is a card of basically you can be actually physically ill or suffering or exhausted, but your person looks like they're in healing mode, whether it's to do with this relationship or not, could be something else. But let's see what we have here for how they view you. The Queen of Cups, Scorpio, that's Cancerian energy. The Ten of Cups is Pisces. The Page of Pentacles is Virgo. The Four of Swords is Libra energy. They Your person sees you as this absolutely glorious, beautiful queen, very seductive, very sensual. Well, that's who you are, Scorpio very sexy you just see how beautiful she is and your person views you as the epitome and the embodiment of perfect love very nurturing sweet kind loving energy how do they feel in their heart space a high priestess i love it the high priestess says that they want to secretly what they're not telling you is that they are nurturing this relationship the high priestess is the sort of very virginal, very innocent, very sweet energy coming in to nurture what they value. It's it's a high priestess is the spiritual is a spiritual leader of um, you know of a tribe, so to speak. You know of a family group of a group of people. You may really I think resonate with a very strong spiritual um, core with each other. How your person views the situation forward, the Ace of Cups. Oh, Scorpio, 
You have an absolutely new love that you sense. Both of you sense this very powerful ability for this to be a relationship that is, you know, is the one that you can have your happily ever after. It's almost something, it's almost like love at first sight here is what I see. The feeling instantly upon meeting this person that they felt like family, they felt like you'd known them forever. What is hidden in the heart space between the two of you, two of pentacles? So it looks like for most of you, this is a very early point in a relationship in which you still have not declared exclusivity in dating, but it clearly looks like neither of you are actually dating someone else, but both of you are just trying to keep sort of stable and balanced by not jumping to any conclusions the way i'm reading this the four of swords means that your person really is unprepared to really be out there i feel as though scorpio you may have two love interests or your person may know that you know that both of you are very aware that that you're not yet exclusive and yet i feel this strong pull for both of you to this relationship but you're not speaking about it a lot of your your person isn't so what is spirit recommending at this time make a choice the lovers card gemini energy cancer energy cancerian energy capricorn energy look at your per spirit is saying right now make a choice be very clear do not juggle don't even think about juggling make that choice your person is looking at you like you're the one you seem to be a little bit unaware of that you think they're keeping their options open but i don't think so at all what is the short-term outcome of this relationship the three of pentacles the collaboration card this is such an important card because it speaks to the fact that you have a very practical capricorn desire to make this work when we look at astrology and we look at your chart your person's chart then there's a relationship chart what this says is that you can go the distance that is the saturnian influence of capricorn meaning that both of you are really you're very good as a team you them and the team of coupledom it's about you know living a life together saying you know what are we going to do today let's go to dinner let's paint the room let's move in it's all about moving forward in a very solid way in your relationship so let's clarify these cards and see what is going on tell us about the five of wands what does that mean what does that mean at this time? I think both of you are feeling as though you're not quite sure, but <laughs> it looks like you're being flirty and competitive and trying to lure each other in. So let's see what we have. We have the death card. Okay, so it's the death of competition. I like it. The death card really says that neither of you want to date anyone else. The death card says that you're going to stop any competitive situation. The ace of wands, a very fresh new beginning with this ace of cups, throwing caution to the winds, being very enthusiastic about this relationship. That ace of wands is coming up from a bed of beautiful peonies there's growth uh, so it does look like there has been for your partner a, the death of a relationship which is putting them into a healing mode but it doesn't look like there's any competition at this point with this clarity here we see the ten of cups in the recent past the two of pentacles so we've got the two of pentacles here twice so both of you have been wondering is this my person juggling that thought not sure whether the two of you are meant to be together but it feels great five of wands again that feeling that you haven't declared the relationship in the past tell us more about where that's at now the sun card look at that absolutely knowing that you are the ten of cups is happily ever after marriage the sun cards the happiest most intense card in the deck for attractiveness for romance for sensuality so it really looks as though both of you just met each other sort of not even necessarily meaning to be in relationship or looking for a relationship 
we have the Page of Pentacles tell us. Three of Cups. You may have met through friends. It looks as though you have a lot in common. The Three of Cups is best friends. It's celebration. We get the Ace of Coins next to that. We get an engagement. The Mystic. Look at this. You Again, a very strong, reverent spiritual core. This is Taurus energy. The energy of similar belief systems. The energy of... Um, really wanting to make a choice and building a future together. The Four of Swords, what's that about? The Ace of Pentacles, wow, okay. So your person is healing, but they are ready to make a significant offer. Now we have three Aces in this reading. We have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. That, like I said, we just had the Three of Cups here. Remember I said this can make an engagement or create an engagement because your person and you are on the same page in terms of your spiritual beliefs. The Hierophant energy, that's the energy of philosophy, you know, what you believe in spiritually. It can literally, it is, the Hierophant energy is a mystical marriage energy about being so attractive but the three of cups it looks like the two of you your person really thinks that you could be the one the ace of pentacles is clarity now they don't want anybody else they want you tell us more about that ace of pentacles the queen of pentacles beautiful energy your person's coming in with a very serious capricorn energy again the spirit of being able to deliver a beautiful relationship that's very stable very sound it's very compatible with scorpio energy but that is them they're coming in with a very strong nurturing vibe into this relationship in it to win it uh, very very good career we have the nymph of swords <laughs> we have the queen of swords here so the nymph of swords is the energy of being very um very clear but it's a card of great desire you have clarity your person feels as though you are the most desirable loving person that they've had the joy of knowing we get the High Priestess card. Why do we have here? What do we have? Your Ten of Swords. So your person is really hiding the fact that they were betrayed in another relationship, that that relationship, they don't really want to involve you in a lot of information. They don't want to tell you how somebody backstabbed them, how somebody, how another relationship ended. They feel as though the connection between the two of you is very pure, and they want to focus just on your connection. They're healing beautifully with the love that they feel coming in. You know, you do know, I think you think you're very aware that they've had a breakup and you're just taking a very matter of fact, it is what it is, but wishing upon a star is something that both of you did and you're finding one another in this path of new love. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Your person wants to get to know all about you. You know, that's getting to know you, getting to know all about you, doing the work. They want to learn what pleases you. They want to learn what turns you on. They want to learn everything. They are like sponges in your presence right now. The Six of Swords moving forward and really healing. This could indicate the possibility that the two of you would move in together, that your person would really, they want to move towards a fantastic relationship with you and they have great clarity to do it. The Two of Pentacles, why is it here? The Warrior of Swords. So the King of Swords energy says that you, the two of you are in this Aquarius energy of being very clear cut. We have Aquarius here and we have Aquarius here, making a very rational decision to not juggle anybody, to cut something out, to let it go. Oh, I love it, releasing the past wounds that you've both had in your life, really clearing the deck. Scorpio, there you are in your reading, you know, right there. It really speaks to the fact that you've done tremendous healing. Uh, both of you came into the relationship a little bit conflicted, but I don't think it's really between the two of you, but thinking conflicted that could this really be happening? Can this really happen? And the truth of the matter is very much so. The lover's card energy is a six of coins really giving to the relationship. Two sixes. Sixes are about stability and opportunity and moving forward, but giving to one another very generously. 
very generously, really sharing assets, really giving in a very big way to the relationship, being very invested in it. The Three of Pentacles energy is clarified by the star card. That is hopes and dreams for love coming true. It's a card of ultimate healing. It really speaks to the fact that everyday life with this person is delightful. It's joyful. These, you're to one another, you're both like the rock star in love. As, as you look at one another, this is the best relationship, Scorpio, I think that you've ever had the pleasure to enter. It really, it's phenomenal energy. This is one of the best readings I've ever had for you. The Spirit of Wands is really speaking to the fact that both of you are a very fiery, very passionate, very joyful. You love to laugh. We also get the energy of the Ten of Cups. Oh my God, it's bookending the relationship reading. Look at that. This is incredible. Scorpio, Scorpio, I am so happy for you. Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, happily ever after. Scorpio, I think after a long period of time, I feel as though your match is here. They're here today and they're here wholeheartedly with you in this very joyful sacred reverence of love the key to one another's heart the ability to just allow your history to be what it is but you, this absolutely you've wished upon a star literally both of you wished upon a star and that star card is here your manifestation in love. I have goose pimples all down my legs and arms. Scorpio, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. I would love to hear any ideas that you have, any, any readings that you would like to see. So leave it in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up. I'm so appreciative of all your support. Thank you, Scorpio. Hope to see you soon in another video. Bye-bye.